Hey, what's going on guys? This is Detectorus and today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to get transmission set up with Docker. We're going to go over everything from what commands you need to run on the command line to what each config item can do for you. So looking at the text box on the right, we've got a number of different arguments going on here. So the first command that we're going to run is docker run dash D and what the dash D does is it allows docker to run in the background. So you don't have to keep the terminal open to keep the container alive. The second argument that we're passing in is the name. Um, and this is basically the name that we're going to give the container. So for us, it's transmission. We've got two more arguments. Uh, we've got PUID and PGID. Both of these are set to a thousand, but what these mean are your process user ID and your process group ID. So when your Docker container is running, it's saying, okay, what user and what group do we want transmission to be running as? And for us, it's 1000. So whatever 1000 maps to on your host system, that is the user in the group that this container will be running as. Next, you've got TZ, which is your time zone. So for me, that's set to Europe slash London. And for you, it'll be for wherever you are in the world. The next three arguments are your ports. And these are the ports that transmission will be running on. So 9091 is the port which we will use to access transmission through our browser. Lastly, we've got three more arguments, and these are the dash V ones. So we've got slash config, slash downloads, and slash watch. What each one of these does is slash config is the location where you will store the transmission config file. Slash downloads is the location where transmission will download torrents. And slash watch is the location which transmission will monitor to automatically begin downloading .torrent files which are dropped in that directory. Finally, you've got the dash dash restart unless stopped. And what this does is it will restart the transmission container unless it has been manually stopped. Okay, so now we're going to actually run this command and let's see what happens. So as we can see, the image has been downloaded from Docker Hub and the container has been started. As you can see, using the Docker command, Docker PS, it gives us a breakdown of what port the container is running on along with some other useful information such as the name of the container and its id so let's now load up firefox and go to localhost 9091 which will take us to the transmission main page so it's easy as that we've now got transmission downloaded and running in a docker container and from the transmission main page we can configure transmission settings or begin downloading a torrent